And hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Red October Network. Uh, sorry I haven't been around in a while. I've been working a lot. Um, anyways, I uh, wanted to show you guys. I found a box of old stuff of things I was saving when I was little. Um, just a lot of things that, you know, we, uh, I had put, I had a little bit of CD when I was little, so I saved a lot of stuff, but I was wondering maybe if you thought some of this stuff might be worth some money. So I'm just going to show it to you. I have it all on display here. Yeah, it's kind of messy. So, anyways, to start, this is an Atari cartridge. It's Pac-Man. I think I bought it at Goodwill in Pittsburgh. I don't know if that's worth anything. That is a double density five and a quarter inch floppy disk. It says Wheel of Fortune on it. Command code Fortune. There's another one over here. Classic Concentration. And this is a, I don't know what it is. It's something for Texas Instruments. And it says uh, command module, and it says Munchman on it. So I don't know if it's like Word Munchers or like Pac-Man or or what. So there's that. This is a uh, comic book, UFO in our space. I don't know why I was saving it. Probably for some good reason. It's uh, found in ancient tomb from cavemen or spacemen. Here's a Sega Saturn disc. This is Virtua Fighter Remix. Uh, there's a little story behind it. When uh, Sega came out with Virtua Fighter, it was real blocky, kind of bad looking for such a high powered machine. So they sent this disc to everybody who bought a Saturn and registered it. So, thing is, I never told Sega because this was 15 years ago, but I got two of these discs. So there's another one laying around. This one's never been used. And this was Panzer Dragoon, playable preview, came with it. Here's Cordell Stewart, Sports Illustrated, in your face. I think this was from 2001. Could tell because there's a thing in the iPod. Here's a cookie card from Giant Eagle from 1996. And uh, what you did was you donated $5, and if you're a kid, you got a... Uh, a free cookie every time you went to Giant Eagle. It's too bad they don't do it anymore. At least they don't know. Tom Barrasso keychain. Kinda nice. <laughs> Steelers ticket from 1995. Game 5, Steelers versus Chargers. Uh, the revenge game from the 94-95 AFC Championship game. We ended up killing them. Chargers suck. Here's a crown jewel. This was uh, Mario Moments, unopened packages in 1997 before uh, Mario's first retirement. Giant Eagle, the local supermarket, who also did the cookie card, had a thing where you could buy these packs. It's all Mario cards. Uh, they had six sets. Some of them have special cards in them. I never opened them, hoping maybe I'd get some money for them. I don't know. If anybody wants them, give them to you for a thousand bucks. How about that? So, Odyssey cartridge. Odyssey 2, it says Speedway, Spin Out, and Crypto Logic. Nice handle. Here's a Circuit City receipt from 1997. It says, I think it's from March 8, 1997. It says, Customer Copy. This one's from the West Mifflin store. It says, uh, Love Songs, uh, Elton John cassette, $8.99, Abbey Road, $12.99 on CD, One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boys to Men, and I Believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly. Here was a promotional thing, it was Vortex, this was a game for uh, Super Nintendo, so this was, I think it came with Game Players Magazine or Electronic Gaming Monthly, came with the package, Game Players, there you go, so it's a little beat up, but uh, yeah, here's Tickle Me Elmo, if you don't know who he is, shame on you, because this was like, my life, so. <laughs> 
Here's a. This is from the Warner Brothers store. Now the defunct Warner Brothers store. This was a 2000 countdown clock. So you put in the date and it tell you how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds it, there were until 2000. So I ended up using it a couple day, a couple times, and trying to program it to count down the number of days left in school. So I had it like all covered up, and that's why it was, you know. Here's a beta cassette. If you don't know what a beta cassette is. Hope there's somebody like over 40 who can tell people what a beta cassette is. This was like basically like the uh, 1980s version of Blu Blu-ray versus HD DVD, two competing formats. Beta lost VHS one. That's why you don't remember it. There's a Beanie Baby from McDonald's. Came in Happy Meal. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a uh, Space Jam coin. I don't know. You can kind of see Michael Jackson or <laughs> Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, and there's Bugs and somebody else. Here's a fire truck from the Matchbox Premier Collection. Yes, that is a Hills tag. Can you believe that? This was back when Hills was around, and finally, Lanny for Terry's How to Keep Score. Yeah, that's a nice picture. I thought Lanny looked kind of sweet. So, I saved this. I think it was from like when we were at Three River Stadium back in the 90s. So, anyways, I have some more stuff upstairs. I might go dig through it. Um, leave some comments down there. Subscribe, obviously. Gotta say that. And uh, tell me if any of this stuff is really worth anything. And I'd appreciate it if you knew. I think those are gonna go on eBay. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just auction a whole bunch for twenty-five hundred bucks. Be kind of nice. So, all right. Well, see you guys later.